Hi, what's up everyone? Today we're going to talk about how I set up the mouse with my iPad to speed up my workflow. I'll also talk about why I think the Logitech MX Master 2S mouse is the best mouse for the iPad. Let's get started. Since the update of iOS 13, we're now able to use a mouse on an iPad as an accessibility feature. I'm not too sure why it is an accessibility feature, but it works for me. Let me show you how I set it up. First, you'll need to get a Bluetooth mouse. Well, you can use a wired one, but you'll need a USB adapter to attach it to the iPad. I'm using the Logitech MX Master 2S wireless mouse for my iPad, and I'll tell you why I picked this mouse just in a minute. To set up the mouse, put your mouse into pairing mode, then go into your iPad settings, accessibility, touch, assistive touch, turn on assistive touch. Assistive touch has to be on while you're using the mouse. Go down to device, Bluetooth device, tap on the name of your mouse. That's the basic setup to connect your mouse to your iPad. Now this part is where I will show you the advanced shortcuts that I set up for my mouse. Tap on the name of your mouse, you'll see multiple buttons to control different things on your iPad using the buttons on your mouse. Usually button one and two is a left and right click on your mouse. If you tap on to let's say button one, you'll have the option to change it to function of the left click to almost anything you want. You can use it as a home button, change the volume, pull down control center, and more. If you see less buttons on the customization page than the number of the buttons on your mouse, tap on the customize button and click that missing button on your mouse so your iPad can now recognize and customize that new button. Okay, this is where we have to talk about why I'm using the Logitech MX Master 2S as the mouse for my iPad. I've tried different kinds of mice, some of them with two buttons, five buttons, and even a 12 buttons gaming mouse. The maximum number of mouse buttons you can set up on your iPad is just five. I can never get it to more than five buttons. So you don't really need to get a mouse with too many buttons. They won't work. Well, at least I couldn't get it to work. The iPad simply just wouldn't recognize the button when I try to customize it if it's more than five. If you know how to get it to have more than five buttons, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Okay, here's the advanced part of how I set up the shortcuts on my iPad mouse. I'm just gonna call it the iPad mouse from now on. I left the left click as the regular touch. For the right click, I have it set to the home button so I can quickly exit an app without touching the iPad. I can even double click the right button to get to the app switcher screen. I can also remotely wake up my iPad using just the right click. Then I have the top button on the side as my spotlight slash quick search function so I can jump to another app or search up for stuff even when I'm inside an app. As you know, the iPad does not have a built-in calculator app, so I do use the search function to do calculation all the time. Well, don't judge me. I'm just kidding, but I'm serious. I use the search function as the calculator. I have the bottom side button set up as lock screen button so I can turn off my iPad screen without touching the iPad. This is good when you are working on something sensitive and you want to quickly lock your iPad screen. The last button is actually hidden in the vertical scroll wheel of the MX Master 2S mouse. You can actually click into the mouse wheel. I set that button up as the undo button so I can quickly undo anything without looking for the undo button because usually the undo button is located at different spots of different apps. I think this is even faster than using the command Z keyboard shortcut, especially when you don't have a keyboard around, then you'll be like shaking the iPad like crazy to undo stuff. Those are the shortcuts I have assigned to my iPad mouse. For even more advanced users, you can set up Siri shortcuts that allow you to complete complicated tasks by one single button. Oh, there's one thing you need to know about using the mouse or any mice on the iPad. The vertical scroll wheel will work on the iPad when you are scrolling through pages in some apps, but the horizontal scroll wheel will not work. Just to keep that in mind when you are shopping for a mouse for your iPad. You might notice that I skipped one button on the MX Master 2S mouse, the top middle button. This cannot be programmed when it is connected to an iPad. This button will still work as a button to change the scroll wheel settings from free fly mode to clicky mode. I'm pretty sure those are not the official name. In the free fly mode, you will not feel any resistance when you are scrolling with the wheel. In clicky mode, you will feel the clicking steps when you scroll, so it is a little bit more precise, I guess. And you will jump into free fly mode when you scroll the wheel fast enough. 
That's it. That's how I set up and use a mouse on my iPad. By having all the button shortcuts, I can fly through the iPad, especially when I'm multitasking. Now I feel kind of weird whenever I don't have the mouse with me when I'm using my iPad. If you have any questions about this setup or what kind of mouse you should get for your iPad, leave it in the comment section below. You're more than welcome to share your shortcuts and workflow using the mouse on your iPad with us too. If you like this video, share it with your friends and family to help this channel grow. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.